Hey everybody, it's Mike the Reptile Guy here at the Western Canadian Reptile Expo. It's the largest reptile show in Western Canada and probably one of the coolest places to see all kinds of crazy reptiles. We've got snakes and turtles, tortoises, frogs, lizards, everything you can think of in this building right now. Now as a rescue, I'm not I don't agree with everything being kept as a pet. A lot of reptiles shouldn't be, you know, as pets kept in little cages and that. But there are a lot of responsible breeders out there, and I understand that the reptile industry is inevitable. It's going to happen. People are always going to have pets. They're always going to have reptiles. Um, so, you know, I, I support the responsible breeders. So inside this building, we've got some of the coolest, most responsible breeders that there are around in Canada, right? We got people here from Ontario, so they flew, you know, over a thousand kilometers to come out to this show and show off some of the really cool animals and uh, try to sell some of the really cool snakes and that. So we're going to go inside and take a look and uh, yeah, we're going to see some stuff you've probably never seen before. So we're now inside the Western Canadian Reptile Expo where there are thousands of reptiles in here, really cool stuff. We're going to start by showing you some of the, the neater lizards and that and we're moving to tortoises and snakes and try to get a little bit of everything they have in here. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to talk to Jess about some of her animals she has. Now, there's one in particular I wanted to see here, and it was this one here. And what, what is this here? Uh, so this is a tonic gecko from Madagascar. That is a gorgeous little gecko. I would love to hold it. You know, I'm surprised she trusts me holding it because all day yesterday she had to keep an eye on me so I wouldn't steal her other She's little... She's keeping an eye on me. She is still keeping an eye on me. Yes, but I don't want this one as much as I wanted the other one, no, so no, it's okay. Notice I'm only at my table. Yeah, she hasn't eye. left. Yesterday she was dumb. She kept walking away. That is gorgeous. Now, now, how big do these guys get? This is actually full grown size. It's full grown. Yeah. That is awesome. Now, you don't really want to sell this one, do you? No. No? Why is that? Um, this is kind of one of the ones that are a big favorite in my collection. Yeah. Um, not one of my pet gecko, but my favorite. But there's another reason why you don't want to sell it. There's another one you want. There is. Yes. There's a Mel here today as well. I've been looking for Mel for two years. Yeah. I yeah. haven't been able to find one, and today there's Mel. So I'm so mad hoping that there will want to and then yeah. I can see why they So you told me you were going to get it yesterday. No. The the I thought you said yesterday you were going to get it at the end of the day. No, it's okay. That's okay. okay. Yeah, that's now, okay. How, how are these for pets? Um, they're not good at all, but once you have a set of high, they're really easy. Um, the biggest things with them is you have to keep them cooler, they don't eat pets at all. Um, they can actually die, so they're pretty much cooked. So, high 60s, I would say, is really good. Um, really moist conditions. That is awesome. What are some other geckos you got here? We don't need to take them out, but you can just kind of... Yeah, no worries. Uh, there's a few different species of day geckos here. So these ones here are gold dust day geckos. These are a couple of my baby giant day geckos. Another pair of gold dust day geckos. And then some peacock geckos there. The day geckos are a little chubbier, right? They're very fast. Yeah, yeah. And these so, are the geico gecko, right? Um, well, loosely. Yeah, yeah. They have their own little yeah. weirdness. Nice. Um, and then these are and then a cat gecko. Yeah, this, this is a really nice looking one here. Open this up here. Do you want to hold the cat gecko? Yeah, actually, you know what? The cat gecko is a really cool one. Let's let's take that one out again. We saw that yesterday. They're a really cool looking little gecko. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Look at that one there. And what can you tell us about this little one? Um, so this little fellow is all the way from Malaysia. He may look like he's super skinny and underfed. Um, he eats a surprising amount of food, and that's just the way they just are. Just the way they are, yeah. yeah. And their tail is prehensile, right? Yeah. 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 That is awesome. Yeah, when you first bark, you can see his little pecs right yeah. here. Yeah, it's, it's a boy. It's a boy. Yeah. I was saying yesterday, it almost looks like a salamander. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's oh awesome. it always amazes me that those tiny legs. Yeah, are they're so fine. frail looking. Jeez. Cool. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to go check out some other reptiles if I can get some off my hand. Okay, so we're here with Les of Snake Snacks. And where are you from, Les? Rocky Ford, Alberta. Rocky Ford, Alberta. Okay, so. I don't even know. Well, I know what Calgary is, but I'm a BC guy. We don't get out much. Um, now, what do you got here? These are uh, different types of tortoises. This species here uh, are mainly Herman's tortoises. 
They are the cutest little so things. Cute. These guys are about maybe two oh, to three months old. Yep. The they reach about six to nine inches yep. at maturity, and uh, they're native to the Mediterranean. Can we take one out and hold it up for the camera? Yeah. I really like that one. Get a nice close up over there. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see with the lighting Look here. Look at it. The, the show light back here, it's a little bit darker back yeah, here. Yeah, the whole show, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see that one, Mom, in the... Now, very, these, these ones we've seen before. These are the same as Dozer. He's the one that's got the it's handles so that cute. were drilled Do, into yeah, them. Those are Salcatas. Yep. Uh, the other they are tiny native one to there? the Sahara in Africa. They will get to be about 24 to 30 yeah. inches and 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the ones with the red dots? Those you, you told us earlier, there was something a little bit different than yeah, the, there's, the there's, red foot tortoises there's here. two types. These are all red foot tortoises, and they're native to South America. Um, there's an ordinary red foot, which is basically this this style here. And then there's ones that have quite a bit more red on their head. I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera. Um, and those are subspecies of the red foot. Basically what happened was... They developed on a couple islands in uh, off of the coast of South America, and they became their own subspecies. They got quite a bit more. There, you might be able to pick up the red now. Like, and that one's there is is a uh, is a they're called cherry head red ones. These are really cool looking tortoises. These are here. cool. These are leopards. These again are from uh, Africa, the Saharan Africa. They get quite large, uh, upwards of 24 inches or two feet and about uh, 80 to 100 pounds. Wow. And they got a, a really high dome. They're, they're pretty much one of the highest dome tortoises yeah. in, the, in the world. Jeez. What's your favorite kind of tortoise out of these ones here? What, what is your favorite to work with? Uh, they're you all got, really neat to work with. I don't really have a favorite. you got to pick one. Why does nobody ever have I any favorites? You've got to pick one. Tortoises are just kind of my passion. <laughs> I'm fascinated by them. I could uh, watch them and work with them all yeah. day. I wish, I wish yeah. I, that's all I did. But I, if only we can get so, paid for just that. Yeah. And what yeah. do we got over here? These are a little bit different? These are a little oh, bit Russians? different again. Yeah. These are Russians. These are from Europe. Uh, they only get to be about, uh, uh, again, about six to nine inches. Here's a little bit bigger one. This one is about two years old. Tortoise's lifespan, uh, got a very long lifespan. You're looking at... Uh, 70 plus years, and it's not uncommon for them to live uh, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so now I'm here with Monica of Chameleons Galore, and she's got some amazing chameleons here. What, what do we have here? Uh, this is Blaze. He's a blue bar and below bee, a panther chameleon, and he's five years old. And um, yeah, they're very docile animals. Uh, yeah, sell the babies. So when you buy a baby, you can. Uh, you have a chance to tame them and spend lots of time with them, so they are very tame that way. So, um, and then this is uh, Gino. He's a veiled chameleon. They come from Saudi Arabia, and he's also five years old. They can live up to ten years uh, from both species. So. What are What are some of the cool things about chameleons? They're, they're unique characteristics. Well, definitely their eyes because they can be looking different directions. Um, uh, their tongue is twice the length of their body, so and they do shoot their tongue. It's really sticky, so they eat uh, bugs that move around, and well, their hands are like little mittens here. And, yeah, they feel like a clamp on your finger. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And their tail, they don't have ears, but they feel vibrations. Um, and yeah, they're just very fascinating creatures. Now, what, how how are these for beginner pets? Or are they beginner pets, or somebody who's got more experience? Um, well, the veils are. To care for. Uh, panthers require a little bit more humidity, but um, if you have the proper setup, I do fully set up cages as well with the babies. Um, and maybe you have a mister or a water fountain, just make sure there's high humidity. Then they're really not that uh, hard to take care of. So. Which ones do you like better? Uh, I can't say. I love them all. Nobody so. can say a favorite. No. Nobody's ever said they have a favorite. No, I, just, I have 28 adults and I love them oh. all. But I, I do like, I have my favorites to bring to the show, so these two are definitely my two favorites and the female Mercedes and uh, they just really don't mind people petting them or anything like that so I always bring them to the shows as well. Well thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay so now we're here with Sean of Snake Boy Exotics and Michael of the Hide Box and they've got some really cool snakes. They've actually got my dream snake here. This isn't it but what, what do we got in this one here? Uh, this is a albino. 
and the head of vital male. And so this is a good example of what a, a normal ball python looks like as compared compared to an yes. albino, right? You can see really good, really huge difference in color there. Look at that one there. This is gorgeous. Wow. And did you produce this one yourself? No, I did not. No. no. Are you I working on projects with these right now? Um, I'm actually finishing projects, but um, this is one of my original yeah. breeders. And, uh, it's gorgeous. I like these guys. Thank you. All right. Now, what, what happens with uh, the het? Like, you have a het albino, so if you breed this one with this one, you'll get... Okay, this is a het, but it's basically a normal-looking snake. So if you take an albino male and you breed it to a female, normal, which is the same color as this, you're going to produce all hats, yeah. which look like the original normal. And het means it, it has the gene. Yeah, now yeah. This, this snake is now carrying the albino gene. So to get albinos, you, you take this snake and you breed it back, you breed a het, which is carrying the gene back to the albino, and 50% will be albinos. albinos. And, 50, and the other 50% are hets again. There's no normals. Yeah. Nice. So that's recessive. Okay. Yeah, we've seen a lot of the dominant ones with the killer bees and bumblebees and all that. So it's good to talk about some recessive ones. All right, what else we got here? I kind of want to get to the, the pides because they're my favorite. Okay. One here. Uh, the pies oh. are the same thing. You breed, you take this guy, you breed it to a normal, and uh, you're gonna get all normal looking head yeah. pies again. Yeah. Now I love these. Now this is this is a, a low weight, right? This is what we consider yeah, it's, a low it's weight. Kind of a lower weight. Yeah. 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 Now we're gonna come over and look at some some nice ones. That's nice, but these are gorgeous. Can I open? Can I open these here? Um, do you have a key? We've oh, got them all under lock and key. Look at that. They're, expen they're expensive snakes. Yeah, it's hard to see them in the, the light here. So, yes, here we go. This is uh, this is a hat. So she's been, you know, I took my ma original male, bred it to normal, and I got these, yep. and I'm getting these now. Oh, that is gorgeous. And these guys are a little bit uh, snappy yeah. because they're babies. Yeah. So you can see he's getting all peed off. But this is a higher white uh, pie. This is my dream snake right here. So that there's that amazing. guy. Oh, we're losing our heat tape here. It's falling off. Oh. And the pies are great because the even a, a low white pie is quite a uh, mm. pretty nice looking snake too. But. Now these are all from the same clutch of eggs? Uh, not necessarily, nope. okay. but you if you use a low white male and you produce hats and you breed them, you're gonna get whatever you get. It yeah. doesn't mean you take a, if you buy if you're gonna buy a pied, mm -hmm. buy a low white because they're cheaper, and yeah. you're gonna get the same result. Well, yeah. yeah, you're gonna get yeah. the same result. Okay. So, so that the high white doesn't pass through genetics, it's just no. random. No. Okay. Wow. So oh. yeah, that's Yeah, I got it. It might bite you, but I'm not so sure it's safe handing me this because I can get away. Uh, I've been trying to trade crickets for these things all day, but nobody will take me up on it. That is amazing. That. Now, are you working with any other morphs of pides? Not yet. Not no. yet. I think th some of those are really cool too. Yes. I like the I like the spider pides. This year, probably so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then there's another high white. So they're they're they're, they're all different, right? I, I really like this one. As you know, I kind of like, I like the I like the patches every once in a while too. Yeah, this is gorgeous. You want to know about dominant and co-dominant? Uh, yeah, I should go look at those. Which one was this one? So my buddy Mike will take over that. He's pretty smart about yep. all their genetics. Michael. Michael from the hide box. 